Good morning traders and welcome to the Daily Call today, Wednesday the 6th of July. Alright, looking at yesterday's markets, we had data released locally, of course we saw the RBA cash rate, uh, the RBA increase interest rates by 50 basis points, uh, that is the second time in a row that they've done that by 50 basis points. That rate has now moved to 1.35%. There is talk of a third 50 basis point uh, interest rates uh, increase next month as well. As we know, inflation is high pretty much all over the world and uh, these are some of the measures that the RBA is uh, executing to try and rein in that inflation rate and bring back bring it back down to the, the traditional target in the 2 to 3% range. Now of course uh, for those of you who are newer to the finance markets a high inflation basically means that consumers lose our purchasing power so the higher that rate the less that our normal income can buy in terms of goods and services. So there you have it that's a quick summary so let us move on and have a look at our chart of the day now incidentally yesterday's chart of the day the Aussie CAD has triggered we are up on that trade around about 40 odd pips so it's in uh, motion let's see how that one turns out that was the Aussie CAD this morning I am looking at the Swiss yen on a daily time scale. Now this is the smoothest chart that I've been able to find this morning. Uh, as you can see, especially through this region here, okay, we are in a smooth uptrend. Okay, the the lows are getting higher and the highs are also getting higher. So it's kind of like a step-like motion, which is traditional of uh, a trend. So we've pulled back right now, and what we would like to see is basically the continuation of the trend, as I'm indicating it there. Before I'm ready to pull the trigger and find the trade. I'm going to look for any kind of reversal patterns that may occur in this region. Now in fact they can occur anywhere even up to here as long as it happens at a point which is higher than the previous low. So even if it happened over here let's say we had the two candles over here and we produced an inside candle pattern there that would still be valid to to trade the reversal in the direction of the trend so it would essentially be a trend trade. So for the time being add this one to your hot list let's monitor we may even get the reversal pattern out of these two candles there the little one is this morning's it is only around about an hour and a half into formation so we need to wait for that one to complete if it should complete as an inside candle well then there you have it we've already got the pattern that we're looking for and we'll be in a position to take a trade tomorrow so Swiss yen daily time scale is our chart of the day this morning all right Moving along, what's on the agenda for the session which is about to kick off? We have some data happening. It's way late. It happens at midnight from the US. We have the JOLTS job openings number which is due out. And then at 4 o'clock in the morning, now I'm talking uh, Sydney time, uh, we have the FOMC meeting minutes being released from the US as well. So that's pretty much it for this particular session. Uh, guys, as always, please feel free to contact us if you do have any questions. You can also follow me on Twitter at ChatFX for trade setups and breaking news. Most importantly, hope you all have a fantastic trading day. I'll speak to you tomorrow for the daily call. Bye for now.